Hey peeps, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, of course, is part three of the little home decor series we've been doing weekly on Sundays. I thought today that I would do a little bit longer of a video, a little bit more in depth, because it seems like you guys are really enjoying these videos, which I'm so glad because I really like making them and filming them. It's been really fun. So today I'm gonna be taking you thrifting with me for home decor, and then once the thrifting is done, I'm gonna be showing you kind of like a home update, kind of where I've placed some of the items that you've seen me get in previous videos, some other home good things that I've just picked up here and there, just like a general update, nothing crazy. And I'm also gonna show you some of my current inspiration, kind of what I'm going for and who inspires me or what, what home pieces inspire me. So that will be at the end of the video. I know some people really only are here to see me thrift, which is totally fine, I get that. So I'm putting the thrifting at the beginning and then the updates and where I show you my inspiration will be at the end of the video so watch till the end if you're interested in that if not the thrifting will be here right at the beginning we're gonna get right into that but before we get into it make sure you're subscribed 55% of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed I can see it in my YouTube analytics and while I super appreciate the views it really does help when people subscribe also if you want to get yourself some cute pieces for spring and summer you can check out my vintage Etsy shop linked in the description down below it's a really good way to support my channel if you want to if you're interested obviously no pressure there but I did recently list some things from my personal closet I did like a little mini closet declutter randomly and I listed a bunch of my personal items on there but without further ado let's get into the thrifting and the home decor okay we're about to head into habitat for humanity slash restore first time for me I've never been here hoping to find a rug uh, my husband actually used to volunteer here not at this location but the one in Georgia, one of the ones in Georgia. So anyway, he knows it pretty well. I don't know it at all. So I'm excited to see if they have anything that we want. Monsters Inc. vibes, cute. Okay, we're heading out of Restore, empty handed. Um, it was definitely interesting on the inside. So my husband, like I said, he's volunteered at a couple um, in Georgia. And according to him, apparently this one was really rough compared to the ones he's been to. I think it would be a good place. If I was like a homeowner and I was doing more like, like building a home or like putting stuff in like toilets, cabinets, doors, like I feel like it would be a good place. It is a little rough still, like I'm not denying that. But as far as like home decor, I don't know, we didn't even see any rugs there. There were a couple on the floor that were like really, really dirty, but I didn't really see any for sale. But yeah, give us your thoughts, babe. You've been to some before. I don't know. It, it just felt dirty in there. It Did was you really, get that vibe? Like it just kind of felt gross. There was a kind of creepy feeling. I don't know why. So yeah, that was kind of rough. I A lot of people suggested it and I feel like Maybe this one. This one is kind of no, new. I think yeah. it opened like a year ago. So maybe they just haven't gotten their stuff together yet. But a lot of people recommended it. So I'm just thinking our local one isn't that great. So now we're heading over to the DI because it's literally across the street, which is nice. Um, someone thankfully recommended in my last video, they commented and said that they have found rugs or at least seen rugs at the DI before in the outdoor section. And I didn't know where to look for them. Like that makes sense, but like, I didn't know for sure. So we're going to look for rugs there. And then, um, I do want to find more pots cause I want more house plants and yeah, like just whatever else. I love coming to the DI or just like any thrift stores on a weekday cause it's a little bit less picked over. Now that it's becoming summer though, and like some kids are at school, it might be a little more picked over. Uh, but yeah, we're heading into the DI. We're pulling up right now. So hopefully, um, not really hopeful that we'll find a rug here, but hopefully we can find something else. Okay, so there's a couple lampshade options for the cow or lamp options for the cow print lampshade like this one but they're all too big like my side table is very small so i just wanted to show you though like cute little silver one this one you saw in last week's video this is cool but obviously has its own lamp attached to it it's like it's a whole thing and there's another cool one over here i wanted to show you this green one here is so fun like i could totally picture that in someone's house but it's just way too big for what we need but i wanted to show you because i love the green and that would look so cool with the cow print <laughs> is that your style no <laughs> okay so we did find this little trinket dish it's shiny kind of like that spawn we got a while ago 
It's a dollar. I do really like it, but I wish it was one of the shell shaped ones. It's in the shape of a leaf. So I like it and it will be good for like rings and stuff because I'm so bad at just like taking my earrings off on the couch so I can throw them in here. And it's a dollar. I, I do like the shininess. It kind of goes with everything. So I think I'm going to get this one. This one looks pretty much new, but we don't really like the pattern on it for us. So we're going to leave it there, but we know where they are now. So that's good. And this one actually is nice. Like if we needed one, we could get this one, but I think we're going to leave all these here. All right. So we left the DI. All we got was this. Nothing else was really there that we wanted. Um, again, I kind of wish it was a shell instead of a leaf, but that's okay from like the side. It looks like a shell anyway. And it is really cute. And like the shininess matches the, uh, aesthetic. the aesthetic, but also the swan we have. So this will work for now. Um, and if we get a bunch, we can mix and match leaves and shells. So that's good. We're outside of Goodwill. I'm just going to pop in real quick, see if there's anything in there. And yeah, I think we'll call it good for the day. It's really hot out. And yeah, that's all. <laughs> Right, I think we're gonna get this rug. I'm so excited. I really didn't think we we're gonna find one, but look at how pretty that is. I'm excited to unroll it all and show you guys. There's my husband in the distance carrying the rug. I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. I really never thought we'd find one. Hopefully when we get it home, it looks good, but they do take in-store credit and sex after turn. So super excited. Are you excited about the rug? Woo! So we're leaving Goodwill. We almost didn't stop here and I'm so glad we did because we ended up getting the rug. You could see it in the back there. Obviously we couldn't unroll it to see like for sure if there was gonna be like any crazy stains like I don't know blood stains or anything hopefully not um from what we could see it didn't look like it so i asked the lady when we were checking out and she said they do accept in-store credit return just fine with me because i show up there so often so 35 bucks of in-store credit not bad at all a little bit more than we were wanting to spend today just because we're like right about to go on vacation so we're really trying to pinch our pennies until our vacation so we can try to spend money there but yeah, I mean, how can you pass up a $35 rug? I don't know much about rugs and I don't know much about this one, obviously. Like, I don't know what brand it is or anything like that, but from what little I know about rugs is they can be pretty expensive. And this one seems pretty nice. So I might try to like reverse search it online to see if like we can figure out where it's from. But that's like thrift porn, right? Like, do you ever get something and you just know it's worth something and then you look it up to see how much it would be new and like, calculate how much money you saved that's like literally my favorite thing and then i did end up getting this picture frame as well the frames on our wall right now are actually from our wedding um i went to the thrift store i bought a bunch of vintage frames and then i spray painted them for our wedding but only a few of the ones that we displayed at our wedding had the ability to hang on the wall they were all like ones you're supposed to set up so i have been wanting more like picture frames in the style but i hate spray painting them on my own it looks like someone already did this one for us so that's why i got it because the pink perfectly matches the pink on my wall and this one does have the capability to hang so i'm excited about that i know in the future i'll probably end up having to spray paint some on my own it's just such a mess but stay tuned for the home update yeah that pretty pretty good successful day what do you think babe so far so far no blood and body stain <laughs> it actually looks kind of nice i love the pattern and the colors wow it's like the exact thing that we wanted there's really no like stains anywhere 
Like, obviously, we're still going to clean it, and it probably, like, it, it's a little dirty, but it's not. Wow, do you like it? Mm -hmm. Wow. The next day. Hello. So, we're up early-ish to get this carpet cleaned. <laughs> My husband's putting together a shop vac right now. So, basically, what we're going to do, here's the carpet. Um, we just looked up an online tutorial, and it said, obviously, vacuum it first. And then it said you could use warm soapy water with dish soap. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna vacuum it first. And then we're just gonna scrub it down with dish soap, warm dish soap. Um, and hopefully it turns out. I'm not too worried about it because there's no like specific stains that I'm worried about. It's pretty clean like as far as stains. Yeah, that's what we're doing. This video turned into more of an adventure than I guess I thought it was gonna be. I thought we'd just get some stuff and I'd show you, but it's a whole ordeal, but I, I, yeah, I'm excited about this rug and I'll let you know how this cleaning process goes. All right, now it's time for some updates. First update is right here. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this, but here's my little side table. You guys saw in the first video where we put this lamp up and you would have seen this in the second home decor video, this little teddy bear pot. So I obviously wanted a little indoor plant. I thought it would be fun. So we got this at our local nursery, this cute little green leafy plant, and it is called the sweet potato vine. I love the pot so much. Um, it's just like the cutest, the pink color matches perfectly. And just like the teddy bear aesthetic is everything. So that's super cute. And then of course, the plant is everything. I love how green and leafy it is. It's so adorable. So yeah, I never really thought I'd be somebody who would want a house plant like at all. But now that we have one, I'm like totally on the hunt at the thrift store for cute little pots like this, or not even necessarily have to be like kitschy or like kiddish like this, like just any cute pots I see at the thrift store, I'm gonna keep an eye out for so I can have more house plants. Cause this has been super fun so far. I hope this plant survives, but we'll see what happens. All right, so here we are at kind of update number two, and this is where we're gonna be talking about my home decor inspiration. So to be completely honest, I haven't done a ton of research yet on what exactly I want my apartment to look like, but there is one account on Instagram that has been super inspiring, um, which is Sam's World on Instagram. I'll spell out her handle here, but she has an immaculate home. But again, like I said, the issue is hers is actually a home and I live in a pretty small apartment. But one thing I do like about her home decor is it's very colorful, cute, vintage, lots of flowers. And of course I don't wanna like rip off her house or like copy her exactly, but there are some things that she has that I just really like. I was inspired by her to get the swan base and then she also does have some of these little trinket dishes. So one thing that she has that I am like coveting, I want so bad, is this like little shelf rack that she has. I'll post a picture of it here. She's got so many cute things on it. Hoping that somehow I can score something similar to that at the thrift store. If not, I might be able to find one online. Of course, if you know of something similar or have suggestions, leave it in the comments down below. Anyway, all this to say is all my trinkets right now are kind of living on this shelf, on my bookshelf. You guys have seen most of them so far. So here was the swan from the first video. I still haven't gotten any fake flowers for it yet. So I need to work on that. If any of you know of any like small businesses or Etsy shops that I can order a faux flower, fake flower arrangement from, that would be awesome. I have this birthday cake mug. You guys saw this earlier in the video, this little trinket dish. I actually am gonna move this into my bedroom on my dresser. Um, I think I'm gonna make a whole video about this in the future, but I have become obsessed with fake cakes. It's a little styrofoam cake, it's pink. I have another one ordered and on the way. And then last thing on this little trinket shelf, you've seen as well in other videos, it's this little carousel horse. I thrifted this at Goodwill probably like a month ago. 
All of this is going to be reorganized as soon as we get shelves, just because it just doesn't look good on the bookshelf, in my opinion. Uh, the bookshelf is also going to get a little makeover soon, hopefully. So yeah, that's the update on that. Okay, now we're in like a weird <laughs> area for a rug update. The rug situation took a really weird turn. So I showed you the kind of the cleaning process of the rug. When we brought it home, it was the perfect size. There weren't like any major stains. There was like maybe like one or two like small light brown stains um, that really aren't noticeable. And when we got it home, we like smelled it. <laughs> as weird as that sounds, but it didn't like stink. So like imagine if there was like a rug that was like well taken care of and it just got put in a shed for like three years. Like it just smelled kind of like dirt, just like a little bit of a vintage smell, but nothing crazy. Like it literally felt like it was fine. So we washed it, like that all went well. So we washed and rinsed the rug and it all went great. Like there was no bleeding or anything. It seemed like some of the stains came out, but as we were like kind of dripping the rug dry, we noticed that the water was kind of like yellowy. And all of a sudden it did not smell like this before. Like when we got it in our house, it smelled perfectly fine. But after we washed it, it smells so strongly of smoke. Like it's seriously crazy. I feel like the water like activated the smoky scent which I'm not too worried about it. We have a plan. So here's the rug here. I've mentioned this before, but we live in a basement apartment with our in-laws. We rent their basement and there's another side to the basement, which is just like open and unfinished. So we have it in here for now because it smells really strongly of smoke. So since we already kind of tried washing it by hand, our new plan is to rent like a rug cleaner or like a rug doctor and get it more in depth. I think we just need something that's gonna like extract the water because it's still dirty. If you guys have any suggestions at home, let us know. I'm hoping airing it out will help get rid of the smoke smell too, but I'm not giving up hope. It's a really nice rug. Like I'm still so in love with it. I just think it needs a little bit of TLC. I tried to do a little bit of research on it. Please don't give me any hate in the comments for this because my research could totally be inaccurate, but here's a picture of the tag that was on the back. And I tried to research this, but a lot of the websites that came up when I researched like the name on the tag were in another language. And so I couldn't get a lot of research done, but I reversed image searched it and some came up on Etsy. And it seems like this is a vintage rug and there are similar ones selling on Etsy from anywhere between 600 to $1,500, which is pretty cool that we found this. Um, even if it wasn't worth like a lot of money or even if it's not, I still love it. The pink and blue are absolutely gorgeous. And I never thought I would find a rug that I like. But in the meantime, if you have any tips on how to get rid of the smoky smell, I would be all ears. And if anyone knows like the science behind this, like why was the smoke smell dormant until we got it wet? I don't know, but I am still really excited about it. If you know anything about rugs, please let me know in the comments if you know anything about this or like how much it might be worth. I'm just curious. Uh, but yeah, that's a rug update in this like weird unfinished area. Anyway, there's great. So for the last update, we are in my closet. It looks kind of crazy right now because I've been going through it and cleaning it out. But I wanted to show you where I put the vintage trunk. I decided just to put it in my closet at the bottom so it wasn't like in the way. I wanted to put it at the foot of my bed. It just kind of stuck out too much and didn't really feel like it fit. So sadly, it's not like a home decor piece. It's like squirreled away in the closet, but I decided to fill it with my sweaters and jackets and things. It's just really nice to like store them in the off season. So that's what it's doing right now. I'll show it to you real quick. It's already covered in bags and things down there. So sorry, uh, but that's the trunk. I would open it for you to show you the sweaters, but I shoved as many as I could in there and I don't want to try to shut it again. So yeah, that's where the trunk lives for now. It might move back into society and then you can see the cow print lampshade there until we find a lamp. Hopefully we can find one soon for my nightstand and the cow print lampshade will live its life. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the video here in my cluttered, crazy, eclectic closet. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got a lot of fun videos coming up, so stay tuned for that. It'll probably be two or three weeks till the next home decor video. So if you're getting sick of it, there will be a little break. If you're not, don't worry, it will be returning. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for my rug? Do you have any tips? 
Uh, do you know anything about the rug? Do you have anybody on Instagram I should follow for home decor inspiration? Anything you have to say, if it's kind, leave it in the comments down below. You can go ahead and follow me over on Instagram if you wanna keep up to date with me during the week. That will be linked in the description box down below, as well as my vintage Etsy shop if you wanna support me and my channel. But yeah, other than that, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. <laughs> Bye.